<laughs> and welcome back everybody for episode four of breath of the wild master quest master mo whatever same thing today we're gonna go to the final shrine and see what's up as i said last time the last video this is gonna be a lot of deaths on my part mainly because i don't know how to deal with a cold in this game but for now Hopefully these 7 minutes and 30 seconds of cold resistance will help us. Let's see how it pans out. The temperature is getting dangerously low. Find warmth soon or you'll take damage. Understood. Oh dear. Okay. Huh. I'm gonna showcase the fire arrows. If I can hit this. Which I did. But I completely missed. So, instead, I'm gonna go down there. Hopefully, not die. Can I jump down? Nope, okay. That's not what I wanted to happen. Let's see if I can take these guys out first time. Hey! Okay, there goes one. Oh, that guy's got a bow. I'm gonna go towards the bow guy. Now, a good way to collect arrows in this game is to hold your shield out. Hold your shield out and let them shoot it for a little bit. Not a little bit, but he missed. But that's come on, man. I'm just gonna kill you now. I'll show it later. I'm gonna keep throwing bombs at him. Right, that's not hitting him anymore. Well, the other one's climbing up, but I think this one over here died. So, I'm gonna take whatever he dropped. Bacoblin Guts, a rare material obtained by defeating a Bacoblin. It convulses on its own every now and then, which is really creepy, but perhaps it has a use. Alright. So, we now have a little under six minutes left. Oh, there's a chest there. But we need to try and make this as quick as possible. Arrows. Now, standing by a fire also warms you, if you remember reading that. Now, these guys look like they're going to be... Actually, I've never taken this way, but I'm going to climb this mountain and try and get to the shrine through that way. Hopefully it turns out A-OK, -okay. if I can make it to the top, to the very, very top, like it just don't stop. Um, can I stand here without falling? Yes, I can. Okay. Get some more of my stamina up, climb this mountain, and see where it takes us. Let's open the map. Okay, so I don't have to cross the river of death. Wait. I spoke too soon. Okay. Can... I could go that way. You know what? I'm gonna go that way. And there's an enemy nearby. He doesn't look like he's gonna bother me, so... Nope, stop climbing. Oh, that, oh, well, maybe... <laughs> I won't have such a hard time getting to this shrine as I thought I would. Because normally the way I do take is I go on the other side and I try crossing the river of death and I die a good three, four times before actually making it. But, it looks like I'm going to be clear. So I'm going to show you guys. Uh, shield surfing. It tells you right there how to do it. Very convenient way of getting down a mountain quickly. It does put um, some use somewhere on your shield. So, if you don't have that many shields, have a bit. Oh dear. Okay. Alright. 
There's some enemies there. I don't want to fight them. Mainly because I'm so close to the shrine. And this is the first time I do it in one life. So we're just going to climb our way there. We could blow up those red barrels over there move them closer to it but I'm gonna play it safe and look at that already at the shrine actually this is the quickest I have done this ever to get to the shrine and let's head on in To you who sets foot in this shrine, I, insert name, in the name of the goddess Hylia, I offer this trial. I'll pronounce that later when I feel like I am pronouncing it right. Let's go ahead and see what rune it gives us now. Sheikah Slate Authenticated Distilling Rune. Trip trip. And there goes our other rune. Create a pillar of ice from a water surface. Build ice pillars that are very stable. These pillars can be used as stepping stones or as obstacles. Rune extracted. So let's go ahead and put that one on and as you can see it builds you ice pillars as it just said I believe you can build up to three before it breaks the first one you built and creates another which I cannot show that right now can I no all right so we're gonna go ahead and break these two and climb up this one As you can see, this is here. There's a little space right there. You can go ahead and create your own opening. Oh dear. Here we go. Okay, I completely forgot about this. Um, let's see how well bombs work. Oh. Let's see how well bombs work on him. Yeah. Alright, it doesn't stagger them, so I'm gonna have to duck behind cover. Oh dear. Uh, let's see if I can parry this one at least. Or jump out of the way. I can jump out of the way. I'll play it safe. Oh. Uh, let's use this. Oh dear. Okay, so... That took the hit pretty well. Why do you not run for me? Oh, that was very close. Another guardian defeated. Ancient spring, a spring used in ancient machinery. It is light and buoyant enough to float on water, and no matter how many times it's compressed, it never loses tension. We got that one done. Let's move back to making ice blocks. I think. Oh wait. Doesn't matter which side you build the ice block on, so I had already planned on doing it that way. Gotta stick to the plan. Ooh, that was almost perfect. I applaud myself. Now... Did I miss something? Because I know there's usually a... T yeah, there it goes. Okay, I'm gonna get this chest, because there's always something useful. Well, not always, but a good percent of the time. And I missed that jump. Traveler Spear. A spear used mainly by travelers to fend off wolves and other beasts. It's easy to hold and simple to use. Let me go ahead and pocket that and get on out of here. Huh? 
And to you we go. Your resourcefulness in overcoming this trial speaks to the promise of a hero. In the name of Goddess Hylia, I bestow upon you this spirit orb. And this is our fourth spirit orb. Let's see now if the old man will trade us for the paraglider. We've read that already. May the goddess smile upon you. And he's off. Map stamps. With this, you have now acquired all of the spirit orbs from the shrines on this plateau. A <laughs> whole oh, extraordinary. <laughs> that means it is finally time. Link, it is finally time for me to tell you everything. But first... Hmm. Imagine an X on your map with the four shrines at the endpoints. Find the spot where those lines intersect. I shall wait for you there. Do you understand? Where two lines connecting the shrines would cross. There, I will be waiting. So... Where two shrines would connect. So that seems to be right about here. Let's go ahead and put a pin on it. So, instead of crossing through all that, we'll just go ahead and... Uh, go we'll back to the Shrine of Resurrection and go ahead and walk to that spot from there. Oh, it tells you the difference between bombs, how they're useful. Rolling downhill, not rolling downhill. Great for surprising enemies. So, let's get on out of here. Was that noise? There's a lot of noises that happen on in this game that I don't recognize what they are. So as you can see, it looks as if X marks the spot on top of the Temple of Time. Look, his fire has gone out. And so is this. Well, that one was never on. So... Let's see if we can make it in there without dying. I know there's chest buried within the ruins around here. I missed. Spring. I don't know. Bucko Bat, a clunky club made by a bokoblin. If you swing at it, if you swing it at an enemy shield, it may be able to knock the shield out of your foe's hand. Oh, that broke. Okay. Uh, let's use the other hand. As you can see, these don't have a lot of durability. Now, there's no... Sh I thought there was a chest in here. Oh, this might be at the top. Yeah, you're going to want to explore a lot in this game. Or, if you're just going to sit and back and watch me do it, I'm going to explore a lot in this game. Oh, I guess I was wrong again. Yeah. There's no chest around here. 
So let's head on down. And not miss, not miss. Okay, that's good enough for me. Woohoo! Uh, get the bomb ready because, as we saw, there's a nice, peaceful sleep. I missed again. But you fell for it anyway. Stop him from getting his weapon. That broke already. Let's, uh, let's keep using him. Poor guy never had a chance to get his weapon. That's okay, it makes it easier for us. Now we see something glowing. Let's go check it out. Because that's always a good sign. Pray. <clears throat> you who have conquered the shrines and claimed their spirit orbs, I can offer you great power. It appears you have claimed four spirit orbs. In exchange for four spirit orbs, I will amplify your being. So tell me what is it that you desire. We're going to go off with heart container right off the bat. Because we've seen I've already died a couple of times. You wish for another heart container, yes? Indeed I do. I shall grant the power you seek. So, for four spirit orbs, you can either get another heart container or an increase in your stamina wheel. These do replace heart pieces. Heart container, your life force has been strengthened, increasing your maximum number of hearts by one. You no longer have to go searching for uh, heart container pieces throughout the land. Go and bring peace to Hyrule. Oh! Oh! The blessing of the goddess has made you that much more resilient, I see. Hmm. Here I am. Get up here, quickly. Oh, we're going to go ahead and climb after I take whatever that broken down guardian has. Ancient screw. Alright, let's start climbing. Now, the first time I played this game, I didn't know there was a ladder here. So I wasted a lot of my stamina trying to climb up. Wasn't pretty. I think I died twice. And let's keep on climbing. Here he is. There's a chest there. But we're going to talk first. Always talk first. <laughs> well done there, young one. Now then, the time has come to show you who I truly am. I was King Rome Bosphoramus Hyrule. I was the last leader of Hyrule. A kingdom which no longer exists. <sighs> the Great Calamity was merciless. It devastated everything in its path, lo, a century ago. It was then that my life was taken away from me. And since that time here, I have remained in spirit form. I did not think it wise to overwhelm you while your memory was still fragile. So rather than that, I thought it best to assume a temporary form. Forgive me. I think you are now ready. Ready to hear what happened 100 years ago. To know Calamity Ganon's true form, one must know the story from an age long past. The Demon King was born into this kingdom, but his transformation into malice created the horror you see now. Stories of Ganon were passed from generation to generation in the form of legends and fairy tales. But there was also a prophecy. The signs of a resurrection of Calamity Ganon are clear. 
and the power to oppose it lies dormant beneath the ground. We decided to heed the prophecy and began excavating large areas of land. It wasn't long before we discovered several ancient relics made by the hands of our distant ancestors. These relics, the Divine Beasts, were giant machines piloted by warriors. We also found the Guardians, an army of mechanical soldiers who fought autonomously. This coincided with ancient legends oft repeated throughout our land. We also learned of a princess with a sacred power, and her appointed knight chosen by the sword that seals the darkness. It was they who sealed Ganon away using the power of these ancient relics. One hundred years ago, there was a princess set to inherit a sacred power, and a skilled knight at her side. It was clear that we must follow our ancestors' path. We selected four skilled individuals from across Hyrule and tasked them with the duty of piloting the Divine Beasts. With the Princess as their commander, we dubbed these pilots Champions, a name that would solidify their unique bond. The Princess, her appointed Knight, and the rest of the Champions were on the brink of sealing away Ganon. But nay. Ganon was cunning, and he responded with a plan beyond our imagining. He appeared from deep below Hyrule Castle, seized control of the Guardians and the Divine Beasts. Against us. The champions lost their lives, those residing in the castle as well. The appointed knight gravely collapsed while defending the princess. And thus, the kingdom of Hyrule was devastated absolutely by Calamity Ganon. However, the princess survived to face Ganon alone. Link, you are our final hope. The fate of Hyrule rests with you. That princess was my own daughter, my dear Zelda. And the courageous knight who protected her right up to the very end. That knight was none other than you, Link. You fought valiantly when your fate took an unfortunate turn. And then, you were taken to the Shrine of Resurrection. Here you now stand, revitalized 100 years later. The words of guidance you have been hearing since your awakening are from Princess Zelda herself. Even now, as she works to restrain Ganon from within Hyrule Castle, she calls out for your help. However, my daughter's power will soon be exhausted. Once that happens, Ganon will freely regenerate himself, and nothing will stop him from consuming our land. Considering that I could not save my own kingdom, I have no right to ask this of you, Link. But I am powerless here. You must save her, my daughter, and do whatever it takes to annihilate Ganon. Somehow, Ganon has maintained control over all four divine beasts, as well as those guardians swarming around Hyrule Castle. I believe it would be quite reckless for you to head directly to the castle at this point. I suggest that you make your way east out to one of the villages in the wilderness. Follow the road out to Kakariko village. There you will find the Elder Impa. She will tell you more about the path that lies ahead. 
Consult the map on your Shiga slate for the precise location of Kakariko Village. Make your way past the twin summits of the dueling peaks. From there, follow the road as it proceeds north. Hmm. Go on. Here is a paraglider, just as I promised. Paraglider, an item that you received from the king on the Great Plateau. It allows you to sail through the sky. Press X while you're in the air to use it. With that, you should be able to safely fly off the cliffs surrounding this area. And I think that's it. Hmm. I've told you everything I can. Link, you must save Hyrule. Hmm.